Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Barnard Griffin Say La Vin Rosé of San Giovese. It's from Washington. It is 12.9% alcohol by volume and uh, two of these cans equals a normal bottle. Uh, so this is a two serving can. So it's springtime and possibly going into summer by the time I get through all these canned wine reviews. And I wanted to put some more on the channel because I know a lot of people are looking for them as options for being around the pool so you don't have glass if you don't want to use plastic cups uh, if you're going off hiking or camping somewhere you want to take it as part of a picnic as part of not having that weight and also not having the glass out in nature also if you're like me you go tubing you really like having these around because you can open it up drink it and then put it in your recycle bag and then ditch it when you're done and sometimes they tend to be good quality so enough about that uh, let's get into this wine no screw top, but still plus one because I didn't have to use a corkscrew. From a color standpoint, I'm going to give you a, and it's somewhere between medium and the deep pink. No artifacts, no cloudiness. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like strawberry raspberry juice. Like it, it has a much deeper red note to it than a lot of rosés that uh, I've been having lately. Okay, but how does it smell? Medium plus intensity on the nose. Definite note of red cherry. There's a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of lemon, kind of like a white blossom. Yeah, I mean, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's not too complex. You got those red fruits, a little bit of a floral note and a touch of citrus. Anyway, how does it taste? Medium plus acid, medium body. And in terms of palate intensity, medium plus palate intensity, as a matter of fact. According to my camera timer, medium finish as well. Most of this is pretty much medium to medium plus in terms of its intensity. It is a dry wine. Uh, it's not bone dry. Uh, there is a slight hint of residual sugar to it, but it's not still what I would say off dry. So it's still a dry wine from that perspective. There's also a hint of overripe raspberry that uh, develops uh, if you let it warm up just a little bit on the nose and on the palate. So that's nice to have a little additional red fruit note here. But how does it rate? We don't know until we get to the blick. From a balance standpoint, full point. Length, medium finish, half a point. Intensity, medium plus on the nose, medium plus on the palate, so 0.75. And in terms of complexity, I'm gonna only give you half a point here. Don't expect tertiary. I am getting some elements of uh, primary. I'm not getting a ton of elements of primary or any secondary characteristics. So you, you're basically capped at half a point. So if you're looking for a canned rosé, I'm actually gonna say this one is very good. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up. Now I know that this wine wasn't three points, so it's technically not very good within the official parameters, but I'm going to give it a super secret 0.25 bump. And the reason why is I've had some canned wines that have a metallic taste to them from being stored in the can, and this one doesn't have it. If you gave me this wine, the same wine, and poured it from a can and poured it from the bottle, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference because there's no metallic smell. There's no metallic taste. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Cela Vin Rosé of Sangiovese canned wine? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime.